What do you think of? No. What's wrong with you? I didn't want to do it either. I think it's stupid. I know that this is my destiny. I was at my lowest, he saw the best of me. All of my doubts are the rest of me. Buried them deep in the leg, I can't work with the rest of me. Yes, I am blessed, never stress disconnect from all my demons. They can never get the best of me. Truly blessed to be a. Hey, look. I'm. I didn't mean to leave you. In our simulation, we tend to. Ignore the fact that there is something beyond our expectations of believability, comprehension, and sometimes just an overall grand scheme of things that can push the very boundaries of what we can properly comprehend as something bigger than ourselves. And then we just, you know, kind of wake up and see ourselves in a weird TV show. Hey everyone, welcome back to Nomad Reviews. This is, uh... I don't know. I really don't know. So we're doing The Amazing Digital Circus. Yay. Well, kind of. Sort of. Eh. We only have the pilot, so I gotta make this a short episode, which is really not what I want to do. So we're going to do the best we can. Uh, segue. The plot, I assume? I don't know. The plot at the moment that we know of is that a random person that was watching something on the internet, probably from like a fatback computer, probably not, who is to really say? They get transported into a brand new show with a brand new identity with a whole cavalcade of characters. Uh, we're just supposed to be following the fact that this guy whose teeth and whatnot with his best friend being a bubble sounds like a psychopath, but is voiced by one of the sweetest people. One winged chip tune? It sounds so stupid! He never shut up about those giant monster movies. All the workers would start screaming and search for the closest bunker. I hate this fucker more than ever! Ha <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. You're a wonderful man. Just one of the sweetest people. Is the ringmaster for the amazing digital circus for our brand new resident and current residents, primarily Pompey. <laughs> Pompey is going to be our focal character that will probably be exploring all of the ins and outs, wackiness, crazinesses, and just full-blown insanity that comes from the Amazing Digital Circus. Whether it's talking with the Raggedy Ann insert, whether it's talking to our resident Bugs Bunny, whether it's about this guy who has the worst constitution known to man. <laughs> Did someone say something about an insect collection? I think Kofmo's gone insane. Last time I spoke with him, he was rambling endlessly about some exit. Kind of like you, Pomni. You might be going insane too. Whatever have you. We're just going to be following all these sort of things with waggy scenarios as we're trying to unravel more about the world and understanding if there is actually a way out of the simulation to go back to our normal situation where our alien overlords are overseeing us all. Watching you. We love a good viewpoint story of, uh, insanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, come on. So, here's the thing. I want to talk about all the characters, but with only the pilot, we don't really know that much. We just know that they fit a certain archetype. The Raggedy Ann character is supposed to be sweet and motherly, much like her voice actress. The cranky character is cranky and moody, like most archetypes in shows like this. Jax, the Bugs Bunny character, is wisecracking, no-nonsense, and there for hilarity. 
it's whatever. The nervous guy, he just got PTSD. Mask lady, I got another. She she just got mask. And the guy with the teeth for a face with his eyes and his bubble friend, Bubble. Uh, I, <clears throat> I kind of just think he's crazy. I, I honestly just think he's an insane person that's the overlord that's going to probably be the ultimate villain of the show and probably decimate us all into probably warping our minds and then draw us all into the amazing digital circus so we're all going to be residents of his own unique and terrifying trap! Or I could just be crazy. I, I could just be crazy. I don't, I don't really know. I haven't slept in like seven days. Can we get a reset? Now... I could go into more about the show, but overall with just plot and characters, I'm busy trying to wrap my mind around everything else for the setting being in a digital world with all this wacky shenanigans where when you break, you become this digital mass that can corrode and destroy all those around you and turns you into a, a digital massacre of a being to where you're no longer recognizable and you're just on a tirade of unpronounceable proportions of destruction and mayhem that could probably destroy the entire interweb if left unattended. At the same time, the setting also being controlled by a malevolent force. I got some random Twin Peaks vibes, which is no surprise for anyone that's known my channel because that's how I got recognized in the first place. I was the Twin Peaks dude. I digress. It's that this show is still just in the pilot stage i'm not gonna lie it is strange it is weird it is all over the place right now because there's not a lot of information but that's how a good pilot hooks you because you don't have all the facts you don't have all the details but it seems like it gels well into the absurdity the wheel of odd contusion to make you want to just fall back in awe and astonishment that is good writing. Will it keep up? I don't know. We'll wait till the whole series comes out because I'm doing a magic critique of murder drones to where you guys might be surprised by how my opinion has been shifted from where I was before with just the first two episodes of what was transpiring. And then after that, when we get to some other stuff, we will be going into brand new videos for Marauders Reviews, which are in the middle of productions that will be released in April with all of our bigger projects. With that being said, I'm gonna just work on the next review where I would love to talk to you guys about it, but since I didn't really give a rating for this one, I gotta keep y'all in suspense. But what's coming up next? As I return to my part in the simulation, trying to learn from Peter Cullen how to do an Optimus Prime voice for some Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder related content that's going to be on an upcoming theme for a different channel that I have already made and is in pre-production as we speak. Someone cue that outro before I say something completely out of power. Boy, you crazy! <laughs> <laughs>